Hi guys, welcome to another Block Spotlight and today we're going to look at the, the third MFFS block that um, I've, well, I've taken a look at so far. Now this one is the converter, the MFFS converter. Um, so let's go through this interface very quickly. Uh, as you might expect in the top bit here we can uh, we can set a name so you can you can name these blocks depending on uh, where you're using them or things like that if you're a multiplayer you can put your own name on it uh, you have your redstone control button here where you can choose between switch mode uh, the control center mode or your uh, redstone signal mode um, then over here we can link this converter to an MFFS capacitor using a power link card or you can put in there a force energy crystal or um, you can use the multi-tool as well uh, if you've got those uh, and I think there's energy tablets no, the energy tablets are um, no, that's something else. Uh, so yeah, you've got your uh, your energy crystals and your um, multi-tool that you can put in there. Uh, then you have your options for setting your IC2 power and your universal electricity power. Because what this machine is going to do is it's going to convert your force energy into either EU or uh, volts and amps, depending on uh, which mod you're using it on. Um, so let's have a quick look at how that does that. Now the configuration for this is it's quite simple it's just uh, button clicks uh, you just left click and that will toggle between uh, your low voltage for your IC2, uh, medium voltage, high voltage and then extreme voltage. You can also cycle through the number of uh, packets it's going to emit every second so you can fully configure how this is going to uh, going to work so as you can imagine it can put out quite a bit of power uh, quite quickly so might not be a bad way to um, to store your your power to use later on for say a manufabricator or something like that a mass fabricator if you're not using Greg Tech. Uh, then universal electricity you've got the same options you can uh, toggle your voltage and you can also toggle your amps as well and uh, it is simply a left click uh, I think perhaps it looks like if you're clicking on the right hand side it goes down and on the left hand side it goes up so perhaps there should be um, plus and minus buttons there it's, um, it looks like there's elements of the interface missing to be fair um, and then this big green button uh, needs to be read if you're actually going to turn on that method of output. So how do we make this uh, this converter? There's there's actually two recipes. There's a recipe for IC2 and a recipe for uh, for universal electricity. Uh, the IC2 recipe is a low voltage transformer, medium and a high voltage transformer with a frequency transmitter and some cable and some refined iron not too difficult to make at all but you will need quite a bit of refined iron and some different cables to go along with that now the other recipe the universal electricity recipe you're going to need a coal generator an electric furnace and a battery box uh, along with an ender pearl and some copper wire with steel so perhaps a little bit more involved to, to make the universal electricity recipe but um there's there's your two options so if you're not playing with IC2 you do have a universal electricity USB as well now actually in practice I've I've only got a uh, an IC2 setup running here at the moment um, but as I said we can link if we set up a power link card to this capacitor which is full right now and install that um, that's going to basically fill this bar so that it's got all that EU, uh, EU all that FE available, the force energy available. Um, now if we 
you can also see it's offline because we're on the redstone control so we need to put a lever on the side and what we'll see now is that it's actually not going to be emitting anything because we've not hit this button to turn it on so now you can see our force energy is going down and we're actually getting it looks like one e one of you a tick uh, coming out of coming out of here and in fact let's grab a uh, I've actually forgot what it's called an EU reader reader of some sort there you go EU reader let's grab that and we'll see that that is one of you a tick so if we wanted to bump that up uh, we'd have to stop it and then increase our EU so put out 512 and let's make it 9 and again you can't actually can you you can again it looks like there's this part of the interface missing uh, you decrease on the right side and increase on the left side um, so let's set it to basically the max output go like that and then we'll see that we've got um, quite a lot of EU a tick coming out of there and this is going to be filling up really quickly so it's quite it's quite configurable now as for um, how we get that to work with with the universal uh, electricity I'm not entirely sure so I I have tried playing with that but because I haven't really played with uh, universal electricity that much um, I, I think I'm doing something wrong with it um, so let's just grab an empty cube to start with and we'll pop that there and I'll just see if we turn that off if we can actually that is working so we are getting power in there and I think what this this basically means is because I tried it a few different ways um, and that is it's got some power in it not a huge amount uh, but on this block here you've got these different outputs and it looks to me like the the main yellow spot outputs so all your IC2 outputs and your big square output is your uh, that's your universal electricity output so I, I could be wrong there so if I am wrong correct me but that's certainly what it looks like What's this is 120 so let's, let's not put 240 in uh, but we should be able to put quite a lot of amps in that should get that filling up a little bit quicker uh, but there you go that's the, the two different uh, ways of converting force energy into other usable power uh, hopefully I haven't rambled too much and you'll actually get some useful information out of this and I apologize if I've missed stuff out uh, if there's anything that I haven't covered that you would really really like to know just ask in the comments and I'll see if I can come back to it later on um, actually one thing I didn't cover was that you can actually put an energy crystal in there instead of the, the power card so you have an option of, of what you're going to use um, and as I say that doesn't appear to be working too well and in fact that is outputting into universal electricity by using the IC2 power option which is I'm gonna say odd so I don't know what this UE part is is kind of doing for us perhaps configuring I think this button probably doesn't do anything and it's this one that controls all the output that does kind of look I, I want to say buggy but I'm not entirely uh, up on this mod but it does look that I mean we turned on the IC2 power and it filled up the universal electricity so I don't know there you go anyway guys enjoy explain that little thing for me if you can in the comments 
and uh, I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.